Coming up on this hour of AMHQ, prepare now. Parts of the Deep South facing the threat of severe weather today. We've got hail, damaging winds, even the possibility of tornadoes. And residents worried as waterlogged, really destructive uh, times and, and deadly floods. Look at this video, folks. It's uh, been wreaking havoc across the Gulf states. The rain does begin to move out, but there is another rising concern that could be moving in. And it's an epidemic. Millions of people catching a case of spring fever. Watch out. Temperatures 15 to 30 degrees above average will blanket a huge chunk of the country as we enter a new work week. We'll tell you which day will be the warmest and where. And don't start your spring bugged. That's <laughs> right. The flowers aren't going to be the only thing that's going to be in full bloom. We're going to break down the bugs, the insects, right here, right now on AMHQ. Why am I itchy all of a sudden? I know. It's oh. kind of like that thing. You, you see the bugs and then you have that, you know, the, the phantom reaction. Uh, the cooties are out, folks. Hello and welcome to AMHQ <laughs> Weekend. It is Sunday, March 13th, uh, 2016. I'm meteorologist Reynolds Wolf and it is mosquito season. I'm meteorologist Kelly Cass. Get rid of that standing water. That mm -hmm. much I do know. But we're going to talk to the doc later on. Uh, parts of Deep South, though, can't seem to catch a break. We've got 8 million people under that threat of severe weather. And some of those places under the bullseye have already been dealing with devastating floods. You're, you're right about that. In fact, look at this video. This is really some dramatic video. They just came out of Mississippi recently, and there are so many places across the Magnolia State they're dealing with this kind of situation. This is actually a, a road in Lamar County. You have rushing waters, Kelly, that swept away mm -hmm. a lot of the asphalt and crumbled some of the roads. Yeah, people in the area say they've never seen anything like it. Officials estimate it could take months to repair all that. So the detours, you're going to have to be patient and get around some of that. Uh, bridges, they've got to be inspected before they're reopened as well. So we yeah. saw a lot of that in not just Mississippi, but Louisiana was hard hit as well. Yeah. The problem is, folks, that the timing of this really is not going to be that great because we're going to see as much of this fire up later in the afternoon, overnight, and tomorrow morning. We're talking a nocturnal event for many of you. Uh, so you need to have go ahead and have your plan in place right now. No yeah, question. Because we can't rule out the possibility of tornadoes. Your yep. lights could go out as far as the saturated ground trees can topple more easily with those strong winds. In the northeast, it's all about the clouds. The rain creeps in, but the temperatures, that's another story, very much above average. Yeah, the temperatures coming up and the snow coming down down, not towards the west of the mountains, but rain's also going to be an issue. And with that, I know you were talking about mudslides earlier. That yes. is another issue that we could be contending with. Exactly. So we've got a lot of rain coming through San Francisco mm -hmm. Bay. You head for the hills, the higher elevations. It is going to be snow, and that's great news for the ski industry there for sure. Denver, a bluebird day. Look at that. You know, Sunshine. I know we were talking about mudslides. Let's go from the mudslides to Mud Island in <laughs> Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, Memphis, Tennessee, also known as the Blue City. Look at the fog, too. You know, earlier this morning, we were able to take a much better view of BB Kings, and, and uh, but right now, the tune that we're singing is a foggy one. Visibility is very poor. Rain's going to turn to showers, and then we have the chance of some thunderstorms firing up. Today's high, by the way, is 73 degrees. If you're a fan of springtime, you're going to be happy with the warm air, but just know that there's going to be a little bit of a caveat with that. With the warmer conditions and the moisture that comes in from the Gulf of Mexico, it creates what we refer to as a very, a very buoyant atmosphere. You throw in the upper level energy and there is some of that. You bring in the moisture from the Gulf, you bring in some of the upper level dynamics and it does not spell out as a very favorable thing. If you're hoping for dry times or, or kind of a let up in terms of the severe weather. Severe weather potential, we have some that will be forming across this region where all is quiet for the time being. We do have some scattered showers up towards St. Louis, but it's the garden variety activity. A little more oomph to it when you go back towards parts of I-40. Look at this machine. Notice the wind barbs. Yeah, a lot of upper level energy out there, and that is going to be a big player. Well, what is happening in Oklahoma City or in the Oklahoma area is going to mean a lot of what's going to happen in the mid-Mississippi Valley. I know two different locations, but it all comes together. Here's one of the reasons why. We've got a strong jet streak that's going to play a part. We've got the moisture coming in from the Gulf of Mexico. Atmosphere stacked. High dew points. When you have that area of low pressure in that frontal boundary, think of this as being a plow. It's going to be moving through, not soil, but helping to lift some of that moisture. When it goes up, it's going to interact with winds turning at height, veering at height, which is going to cause some of those storms to spin. Supercell thunderstorms. Capable of producing heavy rain, which we don't need, some large hail, which we don't want, and then also the chance of having some tornadic activity, which no one wants to deal with. Still, we're going to deal with this hour by hour, things becoming far more prevalent in terms of the rainfall. But then in the late night hours, overnight, early morning, that's when we still have a chance of having some tornadic activity. What's the possibility? What are we talking about percentage-wise here? Well, 
Here at the Weather Channel, we've got this thing that we refer to as the TORCON, the Tornado Condition Index within 50 miles. The way it's chalked up in this area, from Tulsa clear over to places like, say, uh, my gosh, in parts of um, Mississippi, back into Louisiana, we've got a 4 out of 10. In this area, far northern Louisiana and northwest Mississippi, it is a 3 out of 10. Know that these numbers can fluctuate. If conditions look like they may get a bit worse, you might see an uptick in the numbers. The opposite holds true, too. If the atmosphere looks like it won't be as potent, we'll see it scale down. What's going to be coming up from top to bottom? The chance of thunder boomers in Memphis all the way along Beale Street in the morning hours and then into possibly midday. Still showers in the picture, Kelly. And where's that water going to go, Reynolds? Great question. Seriously, I mean, the ground is already saturated. Uh, we've had anywhere from 18 to 24 inches of rain. And here just to the east of Memphis in Germantown, Tennessee, we continue to see a flood warning along the Lusahatchee River. At last check, the river was 18.8 feet. It is forecast to rise to 20.5 feet by the end of today, which will put it above flood stage, rising out of its banks. So while we only expect minor flooding today, it would only take about a half an inch of rain or more for those roads to flood as well. And for it to become a serious problem. As always, if you encounter a covered roadway, remember, National Weather Service put this out, turn around, don't drown. And unfortunately, one of the deaths that we saw with last week's flood event was just when someone went around a barricade and their car got washed away with the flood water. So we don't want that to happen. But you can see why we're so waterlogged. We saw anywhere from 18 to 24 inches of rain in the northern parishes of Louisiana. No wonder we have reports of over 2,000 homes damaged by flooding. And we've seen more than than 1,000 rescues in terms of people and pets. So yeah, even back into eastern Texas, you guys saw anywhere from 8 to 12 inches of rain. So you've got the rivers coming up out of their banks, and even though we've had a break from the rain, the rivers continue to be high. It takes a while for them to come back down. So from Memphis to Houston, creeks, streams, rivers, they're all out of their banks in some cases. We also have what's called a flash flood watch in effect, which means it happens more quickly. Flash flood, when you, the water rises very quickly and it comes back down quickly, but yeah, some of the roads could be an issue here trying to get around in eastern Arkansas, northern Mississippi, western Tennessee. It's spring break season. If you're traveling, you need to be aware of this. If you're traveling through these areas, it could get nasty. We've got the severe weather on top of that. So if you live in the red zone for tonight, we've got Memphis in that down to Jackson, Mississippi, I-20, one of those locations that will be impacted by the rough weather. And the rainfall forecast generally light amounts up to an inch. The darker green area is showing anywhere from one to two inches. But remember, it's not going to take much to flood. We've already had too much rain lately, so it's not going to take much to see a serious problem. And then tomorrow we bring that severe threat through the Smokies of eastern Tennessee, right on over towards Charlotte, where your story lately has been the warmth. Reynolds, we saw our first 80 degree reading the other day. Yeah, I know. Hard to believe. Mm -hmm. And you know, we're going to see that trend continue. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I know we've been giving you a big burlap sack full of ugly. Let's give you something pretty. Great shot of Times Square this morning. Partly sunny skies can be expected today. And if you're headed into the city, hey, Donnie Osmond. Yeah, Donnie. With Emory, but Donnie's going to be there at the St. George Theater. If you're going out there, know that you might need to take the umbrella. The chance of rain is going to increase as, as you ease into the evening hours. And the reason for that is basically simple. You know what's amazing is the same system that's going to give us some of the rough weather is also going to be beneficial if you're a fan of warmer times. We're going to have the resurgence that mild air tumbling its way into the northeast, but rain's going to come along with it. So you have the area of low pressure, the moisture that's pulling to the north. As you get into the early part of the week, we're going to see that rain become a bit more prevalent. For today, still shy of much of New York during the day overnight and into tomorrow. That's when it comes a bit more prevalent. Something else to notice. We're not done with the end winter just yet. Look up in parts of Maine into Monday and Tuesday. We have a chance of snow showers there and we have rainfall back in the Keystone state of Pennsylvania. Some locations I want you to know this in Ohio could have several inches of rainfall. Hey folks, don't rain the parade. We'll see you on the other side of this break. Currently in our area, 74 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Today, thunderstorms developing in the afternoon. High 81. Chance of rain, 60%. Tonight, thunderstorms early, low 69, chance of rain 50%. Monday, thunderstorms developing in the afternoon, high 87, chance of rain 40%. Here's our seven day outlook.
morning to you, Detroit. Not much of a sunrise, I'm afraid. We've got the clouds in the way, so if you are going outside, you'll need to bring along the umbrellas. Uh, some light rain being reported right now. Your temperatures are in the low 40s. Definitely a warm day yesterday, though. We saw highs in the 60s, well above your average. So at least we've got that going for us, Detroit, because you know this time of year you can get snow, you can get ice, you can get harsh conditions. So I know it's raining, but it could be worse. Here's a look at some other conditions across the Midwest. We've got the raindrops coming out of the sky in Chicago where it's 45. I just checked on the airport situation. So far, so good. Down towards Indy, it's the fog for you, 56. We've got rain in St. Louis as well as Des Moines. Temperatures are in the 50s. So we've got the rain for sure, but temperatures above average. As we go through the day today, we're calling it spring fever because, yeah, like I said, it could be worse. <laughs> Instead of rain, we could be looking at snow. 66 degrees for your high in Indianapolis. That's 17 degrees above average for this time of the year. We're in the upper 60s in the Queen City of Cincinnati, 68 degrees in St. Louis. So a warm one, albeit a little wet and a little soggy at times, at least we're looking at these above average temperatures. Minneapolis, any snow left on the ground? I doubt it. We've got some really warm numbers for you. Not quite the 60s that we've seen recently, but hey, we'll take the 50s and we continue that trend into tomorrow as well. Chicago, as you head back to work and school tomorrow, you're looking at a high of 54 degrees. So sweater weather, maybe light jacket weather here, but otherwise you don't really need the coats. Places like Indianapolis, Cincinnati, we're going to be in the mid 60s. Just right. You don't need the heat. You don't need the AC. And then for Tuesday, we're looking at warmer numbers. You might be tempted to turn on the AC in St. Louis with that high of 77. That is 22 degrees above average. Cincinnati getting up to low 70s as well. And here's an outlook for Kansas City where your average high is 54. We are well beyond that tomorrow with 75, but then we cool it down, especially by Thursday. Back to the 50s we go. Reynolds? Okay, let's go from Kansas City to the Queen City of Charlotte. Live look at that great city. Man, yeah, don't look very city-ish. Hey, but at least you get streets out there. Hey, the Hornets, by the way, they're on a roll. The basketball team won its seventh game in a row last night. Uh, your streak of dry days, those are going to come to a screeching halt. We've got showers in the mix, then maybe a thunderstorm into the afternoon. All right, speaking of basketball, let's do a three on one fast break and dive right into the forecast, which is over on the other side. There you go. All right, here you go. <laughs> you got temperatures, folks, that are may lead to the 60s. This is how we start. These aren't your daytime highs. This is how we're going to embark on the day. But as we go hour by hour, we're going to see temperatures on the upswing. Some places well above normal, 10 to 15 to even 20 degrees above average in the next several days. Miami with 81 degrees, Atlanta with 76. Even warmer times in Atlanta as we jump from today and into tomorrow. Notice the uptick. Um, the air, mild air coming in from the Gulf of Mexico just streaming its way across the deep south. And even by Tuesday, we noticed some 80s out there, 84 degrees in Atlanta. Warm times out by Piedmont Park and Stone Mountain in Charlotte, 82 degrees, 86 in Charleston, 88 degrees in Tallahassee. Now, we are going to have the chance of seeing some records actually fall or really flirting with the possibility of toppling uh, a few records or at least tying them. Memphis, Atlanta, Montgomery, and Charleston, all locations that will be dealing with some really, really muggy air, warm air, the warmest that we've had in some locations since 1973 or certainly since the, well, the late 1960s as well. Uh, when you take a look at Atlanta, average high, 64 degrees. This is going to be anything but average temperatures in the 70s, going to 84 degrees, Kelly, by the time Tuesday comes around, cooling down a little bit by St. Patrick's Day with 73. St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. All right. Good times. It's going to be warm in the Northeast as well. Reynolds, we're going to take a live look at Philadelphia, the home of the nation's first hospital, by the way. Did you know that? You are waking up to cloudy skies. Yes, a few light rain showers may bother you a little bit too, but hey, temperatures not too bad. And odds are your doctor spent some time in Philadelphia. It's estimated one out of every six doctors actually trained here in the city of brotherly love. There you go. All right, Philadelphia, what's going on? We've got some light rain, as I mentioned. It's hard to see on the radar, but those green specs that's very light rain moving across Pennsylvania heavier rain back into the eastern portions of Ohio not seeing a whole lot of lightning activity with that but those showers are going to make their way towards the north eventually getting into places like New York City but for the most part it's just going to be an overcast day across the mid Hudson Valley over towards Boston you're in the clear actually it's going to be a nice day 55 degrees that's above average Burlington even that 
45. I know it sounds cool to the rest of the country, but that is above average for this mid-March day. We've got the showers around the upper Ohio Valley sneaking into the northeast, especially the mid-Atlantic. We're watching tomorrow for the threat of severe storms from eastern Tennessee on over into portions of North Carolina. And then that rain makes its way up through the northeast. And the pink, what you're seeing on the map here, that's where we've got some of that cold air. It's going to be wedged at the surface, so there could be some of that frozen precip mixed in with the rain. Here's a look at New York City tomorrow. Have the umbrellas handy. Plan for some extra time coming down the uh, coming in from the LIE or the Taconic. 45 degrees. Monday night we've got the rain showers around as well. But Tuesday looks like just cloudy skies. Temperatures in the mid to upper 50s. Reynolds. Yeah, it's kind of a wet pattern we're seeing there. You know, and speaking of patterns, rinse and repeat. Yeah, and that's literally the case across parts of the West as day after day of rain and storms as we head into basically two weeks straight of persistent rainfall. Building the only trucks with the best fuel economy, best towing, best torque, and best payload takes guts. Overcoming any obstacle, that's the glory. Get a great deal on the trucks that give you both during Ram Truck Month. Get 0% financing for 60 months, plus up to 2,000 truck month bonus cash on 2016 Ram 1500 trucks. Smash and grub. Seen it? Covered it. We know a thing or two because we've seen a thing or two. We are farmers. Bum, 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 bum. That's a lot of dishes. No problem. I'll use a lot of detergent. Dish issues get Cascade Platinum. One pack cleans tough food better than six packs of the bargain brand combined. Cascade. We knew Marco Rubio first. We saw him stand up for taxpayers in Tallahassee. He inspired us when he crushed Charlie Crist and the political establishment. We've seen his national security strength as our senator. We know he has the vision to lead a new generation of conservatives. Send America Florida's best. Marco Rubio for president. Conservative Solutions Pack is responsible for the content of this advertising. With heart failure, danger is always on the rise. Symptoms worsen because your heart isn't pumping well. About 50% of people die within five years of getting diagnosed. But there's something you can do. Talk to your doctor about heart failure treatment options. Because the more you know, the more likely you are to keep it pumping. It's amazing out there it means that you could take what some might call a boring weather day, but find a lot of fascinating aspects. You can look up in the sky and there's something to learn about the clouds or about the precipitation that's falling every single day. There's a lot of amazing stuff happening out there. Stay tuned for your local on the eight, brought to you by Lowe's, who reminds you to turn your clocks ahead. Lowe's presents How to Know She's the One. You were the one for me. And it comes with a 30-day satisfaction guarantee. I won't be needing that. Now get 10% off select major appliances at Lowe's. Presents how to put your foot in your mouth. Man, wish my yard looked like yours. Hey, the grass is always greener on the other side of the. Sorry. Now get 20% off all Stay Green fertilizer at Lowe's. Currently in our area, 73 degrees under fair skies. Today, thunderstorms developing in the afternoon. High, 81. Chance of rain, 60%.
tonight. Thunderstorms early, low 69. Chance of rain, 50%. Monday, thunderstorms developing in the afternoon. High, 87. Chance of rain, 40%. Here's our seven-day outlook. And it keeps on coming. Seattle, you get 40 degrees and it feels like someone keeps hitting the replay button. Yeah, week of rain hangs in through the weekend. It's going to trickle into your new work week. No sunshine expected until Thursday. This afternoon, a high wind warning is going to be in effect. It sounds familiar to many of you, I'm sure. Winds of 30 to 40 mile per hour can be expected. Some gusts topping 70, so power outages may occur. Just knows that. Great, great shot from the Space Needle, though, by the way. Beautiful times. Uh, getting deep here for a second. The, the planet's largest physical feature is the Pacific Ocean. And the Pacific Ocean right now is bringing in all kinds of moisture from Seattle clear down to San Francisco. If raindrops uh, can be expected in the valleys right along the coast, but when you get up into parts of the Sierra and certainly into Mount Shasta, it's all going to be snow. The Olympic Mountains, it's a snow story for you. Seattle, Puget Sound, you've got heavy rain that's going to be coming through, and at times those winds will be very strong. Here it is. There's that feature. The Pacific moisture comes through. It's not stopping whatsoever, and that big low that we have that's up in the Gulf of Alaska is one of the big fly wheels is going to continue to bring in that parade of disturbances. It's going to keep on going. The band's going to play on and here we go from San Francisco to Los Angeles. Windy conditions, but the windiest possibly up into the high mountain passes of the Sierra and into the Cascades. We're going to have rain cascading its way back into Missoula. Also some snow can be expected along the big Blackfoot River. Some of it along the Snake River too in Wyoming can be expected. That snow is going to keep things nice and, and, and beautiful for the rivers, no doubt about it. But your travel is going to be hampered no doubt about it. A river of traffic going on and I-5. You're going to have the, the ponding on the roadways, high mountain passes, Snoqualmie Pass may be kind of treacherous, so be advised. Also be advised that we have the flood watch that will be in effect for you for parts of California and Oregon in a little sliver up towards Shelton, so be advised on that. Also know that the heavy rain is going to be one story, but the heavy snowfall is going to be another, with some places, especially in the Sierra, getting up to several feet of snow. And the wind, well, we got a lot of wind, too. High wind, wind warnings in effect, Kelly, throughout much of the western part of the country. Back to you, Kelly. Renz, we're going to take it back to the south. You know, water is still rising along several southern rivers following days of record rainfall. The Pearl River is just shy of major flood stage near Bogalusa, Louisiana, where the police chief says water has reached places it's never been before. NBC correspondent Sarah Dolloff is in Washington Parish this morning, where some have begun to clean up the damage left behind. Good morning to you, Sarah. Oh, good morning, Kelly. Residents are taking stock of what got soaked when the water levels rose a couple days ago. Furniture, vehicles, personal mementos, all pieces of lives interrupted by floods. As record-setting floodwaters recede, homeowners are assessing the damage. What's it like to see it today? I would like to think of expenses, expenses, expenses. And An emotional task for Bogalusa like, resident yes, Billy Crosby. This is my wife's favorite one. He antique. hasn't told his wife the condition of this her prized antiques. And you see where the water was? You can see the line right there. I'm glad she's not with me. Across the Gulf region, similar stories in the thousands of homes damaged by days of torrential rain. Families given just moments to escape. I went to bed at 12 o'clock and the water was in the ditches. Everything was fine. Woke up again at 3 o'clock a.m. and the water was literally at the front door. The cleanup is backbreaking. And for Dwayne Fuller, knowing he doesn't have flood insurance is disheartening. I guess we're, we're just going to depend on uh, neighbors and friends and our church family. A situation many other residents are finding themselves in, according to Mayor Wendy O'Quinn Perrett. We didn't need flood insurance before. We were lucky to get the rain that we got. Gulf Coast communities devastated by a deluge of water, now beginning to pick up the pieces. I reckon I can get a, somebody to help me and then nail a board here and a mail a board and we'll make it back. 
And overnight, officials announced a sixth weather-related death, a man in northwestern Louisiana whose boat overturned as he attempted to reach his house to reclaim some personal belongings. Dangerous situations in, in an area where things are changing moment by moment. Kelly, back to you. Oh, Sarah, so sad to see that and so awful that we've got more rain in the forecast. Thank you so much for that live report. Our hearts and prayers and wishes go out to those people there. Absolutely. The problem is, is that we're not done with the rain yet. Mm -hmm. The heavy rain is going to start winding down in parts of the Mid-South, but the flood threat is still going to remain. Yeah, the rivers are still very high. Yeah. And next on AMHQ Weekend, we're going to talk about the runoff that is pushing these rivers out of their banks and into hundreds of homes. Absolutely. Now let's go to Hokie Town, Blacksburg, Virginia, home of Virginia Tech. What a great town, great place. Showers, moving on in. If I want to go up. Hello. If I want to go down. Hello. But then if I want to come back yes. again, it's perfect. My favorite part perfect. is to be able to lift your legs up a little bit, and it feels like I'm just cradled. Change your sleep. Change your life. Change to Tempur-Pedic. This is how lenders saw me. In my 20s, I was super irresponsible with credit cards. It was time for Experian. They gave me the tools so I could finally get serious about my credit. Now lenders see me for who I really am. Go to Experian.com and start your credit tracker trial membership today. You want to lose weight? Here's some things you should know. Lose up to three times more body fat in one month than dieting on your own. Weight loss of just 8% can help reduce your risk for heart disease. Introducing the all-new Turbo 10. Lose up to 10 pounds in your first month and 5 inches overall. You'll love it. Money back, guaranteed. Did you know that losing weight on Nutrisystem can help you lower your blood pressure by 7 points in one month? Improve your sleep quality by 19% in one month. Lose 7% of your body weight and lower your risk of diabetes by 58%. So you can have more energy, sleep better, and burn more belly fat. Bust that gut. My energy level is through the roof. I sleep so much better. My doctor is so happy. Order your 28-day plan right now. With Turbo 10, you'll get delicious meals and one week of our all-new Turbo Shakes free. Packed with protein and probiotics to help support digestive health and bust belly bloat. The shakes, so good. Oh, yeah. That's good. Plus one week of our Nutra Crush shakes to crush hunger free. Forget about fad diets. It's important to have the right amount of carbs, fats, and proteins to fuel your body. And Nutrisystem has everything you need. Yo-yo diets. Forget about it. Lose weight fast, have more energy, and get healthy. I absolutely feel sexier now than I did when I was in my 30s. I gained energy, stamina, endurance. Now I'm taking the stairs. Call or click now, and we'll rush you Turbo 10 today with 14 free shakes. Lose up to 10 pounds in your first month and 5 inches overall. Money back, guaranteed. I owe my weight loss to Nutrisystem, 100%. 10 years later, and I'm feeling great. Do what I did. Call Nutrisystem and start looking and feeling great today. Pick up the phone and call Nutrisystem now. Call 877-920-DIET right now and get the all-new Turbo 10 with 14 shakes free. This little guy is about to make his first deposit. We'd like to open up a savings account yes, for him? Yes. Great. Thanks to mom and dad and their safe driving bonus check from Allstate. Oh, look at this. Safe driving bonus. Are you safe driver? <laughs> Lucky little fella. Only Allstate gives you two safe driving bonus checks a year for driving safe. See how much more an Allstate agent can do for you. Call 877-644-3100. Like in most families, dad's always the last to know. Oh. That's why accident forgiveness was the first thing he asked for when he switched to Allstate. Michael James? Ooh, middle name. Not good. Get accident forgiveness from Allstate and keep your rates from going up just because of an accident. Find out how a local Allstate agent can help better protect your family. Call one right now. And if you're a safe driver, you can save up to 45%. Just a few more ways the good hands are doing more than ever before. See what the personal service of an Allstate agent can do for you. Call 877-644-3100. Currently in our area, 73 degrees under fair skies. Today, thunderstorms developing in the afternoon. High, 81. Chance of rain, 60%.
tonight. Thunderstorms early, low 69. Chance of rain, 50%. Monday, thunderstorms developing in the afternoon, high 87. Chance of rain, 40%. Here's our seven-day outlook. Closed captioning brought to you by California Walnuts. What makes this the best simple dinner ever? Great tasting, heart healthy California walnuts. So simple. Get the recipes at walnuts.org. All right, cool kids. It's half past the hour. Welcome back to AMHQ weekend. And, and you know, when you know people are talking about things about being contagious, it typically it grosses you out, right? A little bit, yeah. Right. And, you know, more than 260 million people will be catching a case of, uh, let's see, spring fever spring in the days ahead. That's Absolutely. not a bad fever to have. However, we're also talking about the bugs that are coming out big time. And in just about 10 yeah. minutes from now, we'll get an exclusive look at the bug barometer. Yes, there is such a thing. And you'll only see it here on the Weather Channel. You can know what kinds of creepy crawlers are going to be hanging around. Uh, yeah, that's one story you want to stick around for if it doesn't make you itch. Who in the right mind would do that? stuff you know like when you see someone's hand go inside they were doing like, right? a test why why would you not enough money <laughs> hey folks we're gonna put our hand in the forecast and show you what to expect around the country it's gonna bug you at times we do have some rough weather to contend with there's no doubt about it mm -hmm. many places that are not dealing with rough weather now will later on especially in parts of Arkansas Tennessee perhaps and yes Kelly unfortunately Louisiana I was just thinking about all the flooding that we've had yep. in Arkansas Louisiana you know fire ant mounds they can float right I'm That's pretty sure right them. yeah they, that does happen watch out for that. Watch out for snakes in some of the floodwaters, Indeed. too. That's another thing you got to watch out for. We do have a West Coast snoker on the way, too. San Francisco, rain and wind, thunderstorms up towards Portland. You gain elevation, you gain in the snowfall as well. Yeah, we're going to be seeing a lot of snowfall there, and in Tulsa, you're not going to be seeing much of anything because no. fog's going to be a problem. Yeah, it's a little bit of uh, like pea soup out there, so we do have the dense fog advisory in effect until 10 o'clock. It's still kind of dark out there, too. Of course, we changed our clocks for one hour. Hopefully, you remember to do that last Last night before you went to bed. Uh, but yeah, we're dealing with the fog this morning, but we're going to have to watch out for some storms later today, right, Reynolds? Oh, yes, we do. I wish I could say that we were going to have a really tranquil day around the country. That will not be the case. And what we're seeing from Tulsa and in parts of Oklahoma, a little bit of a twist in the atmosphere. In fact, you take a look at the water vapor, and man, look at this. This is one of the big things of, of energy that we see. It almost looks like, a, like the eye of a hurricane. Sam Freeman, one of our amazing weather producers here on AMHQ Weekend, pointed this out to me earlier this morning, and look at that. That is the engine that's gonna make so much of this work. We do have a little bit of a dry slot of air that's gonna move in, but that's not gonna be long lasting, very short lived because we're going to see the atmosphere fire up again. We're going to see the moisture come back. We're going to have the daytime heating and then we're going to see more of this spread its way across parts of the mid Mississippi Valley. Right now, thunderstorms to the west of Oklahoma City and points north, although in Oklahoma City proper, in fact, not too far from, yeah, really not that far from Norman. We've got some thunder boomers that are popping up. We're going to have this area of, of low pressure and this uh, strong jet streak really cause storms to pop as we make our way midday and into the afternoon and evening. We've the moist flow, that area of low pressure, the stationary front, the, war the cold front. You get the idea we have a lot going on. Then we have this, the low level jet stream is going to cause a bit of a spin with some of these storms, which means tornadoes could occur. Not so much in the morning hours, but as we get to midday afternoon and, and into the evening hours, things become very, very unstable. And with that, we have a chance of those storms rattling during the overnight hours and into the morning. It's a big area we're talking about from Tulsa down to Monroe, back into Little Rock, Fort Smith and even Memphis. Spotty hail, heavy rain, tornadoes can be expected. In fact, with the Tornado, the tornado condition index within 50 miles, parts of the region, it's going to be a 4 out of 10. In Louisiana and parts of Mississippi, it is going to be a 3 out of 10 for you. In Tulsa, certainly you could be affected. Very quickly as you wrap it up, know that still water, Tulsa, Muskogee, all heavy rain moving through. Could see it into the afternoon too. Kelly, back to you. And Reynolds, as you know, major flooding continues across Louisiana. This video from Evans right along the Sabine River. That's in the western part of the state. The river there crested at more than six feet above major flood stage and is still three feet above. Uh, flood warning remains in effect for areas along that river this morning. And there's that drone point of view, just the aerial extent of the flooding. Look at these structures. Uh, by the way, in Louisiana, we saw more than 20 2,500 homes damaged by flooding. 
That's a lot of homes. Also, we saw more than 1,000 people rescued by the Louisiana National Guard, 186 pets as well. So this was a serious situation. We had all kinds of evacuations going on, people still out of their homes and in Red Cross shelters this morning. So you've got that bullseye of 18 to 24 inches of rain. That's what we saw over the past seven days in the northern parts of Louisiana, 8 to 12, even in the eastern parts of Texas, right on down towards Houston. You guys saw about 5 to 8 up towards Memphis, too. No wonder the rivers are up out of their banks and in some cases still rising because it takes a while for the rivers to come back down again. River flooding happens a little bit more slowly, more gradually. Here are your river flood warnings from Memphis right on down towards Lake Charles, Louisiana and into the Houston area as well. And now on top of that, we've got the threat for severe weather. So with any damaging wind gusts, that could easily topple over trees because that ground is so saturated. That could undermine the trees. Then tonight, you've got that severe threat moving into Memphis and Jackson. Heavy rain on top of saturated ground. So even though we don't have a whole lot of rain in the forecast, it doesn't take much. So make sure you are aware of the changing weather today. And get ready for that spring ritual. We're talking about the slapping and swatting of flies and mosquitoes. We're going to have ways to keep you safe from the bugs coming up next. These little guys, they represent blood cells. And if you have AFib, an irregular heartbeat that may put you at five times greater risk of stroke, they can pool together in the heart, forming a clot that can break free and travel upstream to the brain, where it can block blood flow and cause a stroke. But if you have AFib that's not caused by a heart valve problem, Pradaxa can help stop clots from forming. Pradaxa was even proven superior to warfarin at reducing the risk of stroke in a clinical trial without the need for regular blood tests. And in the rare event of an emergency, Pradaxa is the only oral blood thinner other than warfarin with a specific reversal treatment to help your body clot normally again. Pradaxa is not for people who have had a heart valve replacement. Don't stop taking Pradaxa without talking to your doctor. Stopping increases your risk of stroke or blood clots. Ask your doctor if you need to stop Pradaxa before any planned medical or dental procedure. Pradaxa can cause serious and sometimes fatal bleeding. Don't take Pradaxa if you have abnormal bleeding and seek immediate medical care for unexpected signs of bleeding like unusual bruising. Pradaxa may increase your bleeding risk if you're 75 or older, have kidney problems, stomach ulcers, a bleeding condition, or take certain medicines. Side effects with Pradaxa can include indigestion, stomach pain, upset, or burning. Don't just go with the flow. Go with Pradaxa, the only blood thinner that lowers your risk of stroke better than warfarin and has a specific reversal treatment. Talk to your doctor about Pradaxa today. I've always been protective of my little sister, but when she got cancer, she was the strong one. She learned while well she needed chemo. It could weaken my immune system. But then you found out about Nulasta. Right. Nulasta helps reduce infection risk by boosting your white blood cell count, which strengthens your immune system. In a key study, Nulasta reduced the risk of infection from 17% to 1%, a 94% decrease. Nulasta is for certain cancer patients receiving strong chemotherapy. Do not take Nulasta if you're allergic to Nulasta or Nupigen. Ruptured spleens, sometimes fatal, as well as serious lung problems, allergic reactions, kidney injuries, and capillary leak syndrome have occurred. Report abdominal or shoulder tip pain, trouble breathing, allergic reactions, puffiness in face or ankles, change in urine, swelling of stomach area, feeling of fullness, dizziness, or feeling faint to your doctor right away. In patients with sickle cell disorders, serious, sometimes fatal crises can occur. The most common side effect is bone and muscle ache. Ellie's strong, but she still needs help. Yeah, I do. Ask your doctor about new Lasta. At Farmers, we've seen almost everything, so we know how to cover almost anything. Even turkey jerks. <laughs> Covered March 4th, 2014. Talk to Farmers. We've seen almost everything, so we know how to cover almost anything. We are Farmers. Bum, 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 bum. Protector. Make sure her tires will. The Michelin Premier Tire with Evergrip technology. Even when half worn, it's still safe. Safe when new, safe when worn. What makes me a weather geek? The fact that I love the weather. Especially when it's when it's hit me on the side of the face. I'm gonna ride this one out, guys. Be one of the thousands of weather geeks out there at weloveweather.tv.
currently in our area, 75 degrees under fair skies. Today, thunderstorms developing in the afternoon. High, 81. Chance of rain, 60%. Tonight, thunderstorms early, low 69. Chance of rain, 50%. Monday, thunderstorms developing in the afternoon, high 87. Chance of rain, 40%. Here's our seven day outlook. Hello, Minneapolis. Good morning to you. You are going to have some rain in the forecast today all across the Twin Cities. Chance of rain increases into Sunday evening. It's going to be warm, though. Highs going up into the upper 50s. So let's talk more about this warm spell that millions of you are going to enjoy, not only in the Twin Cities, but across much of the nation. Warm air is flowing north because we have that area of low pressure in parts of the Central Plains. That working in conjunction with this high in the Atlantic is going to allow things to really warm up. In fact, temperatures anywhere from 10 to even 35 degrees above average in spots like Billings and Fargo in the Twin Cities and certainly in the south. Yeah, the southeast from Memphis to Charlotte and every spot in between, you're going to be warm today. Tomorrow, Jackson going with 81 degrees. Atlanta with 74. Can't get warmer than Atlanta, right? Not, not this time of year. Yes, it can, because look at Tuesday, going to 84 degrees, 88 in Tallahassee, Mobile with 80 degrees, Charlotte with 82, and Charleston going 86 degrees. That's what we're going to chalk up. Something else we may be knocking down could be some records in a few spots, more than a few actually. We've got these four cities and many others around the Deep South and Southern Plains, Northern Plains, maybe even out West, where we could topple the records. To be more specific, Atlanta is one of those places, but so is Memphis, Montgomery, Alabama, and Charleston, where we are going to get to, well, not only break records, but at least come very close to to them in those locations. Some of these, Kelly, these records set back in the 60s. So this is wow. truly historic. Might as well yeah. break a record. Hey, Although some well. people don't want to turn on the AC quite yet. Very Reynolds, true. thank you. And the different weather patterns across much of the country this winter season will have big impacts on bugs. So what should people expect this spring by region? Joining us now with an exclusive look at the 2016 spring summer bug barometer is Cindy Manis, Vice President of Public Affairs for the National Pest Management Association. Good morning to you. Good morning, Kelly. So let's start in the Northeast. What bugs will be most prevalent and when? Well, actually, we're already starting to see them because it has been so warm. But stink bugs, uh, mosquitoes are going to be coming back very quickly. And of course, we also have ants and ticks to be concerned about. I found a stink bug in my kitchen yesterday, Cindy. <laughs> Tell me, what about the Southeast? Uh, I'm sorry, what was that? What about the Southeast? In the southeast, um, basically because, and I, you all just talked about it, how warm it is, um, um, we're going to be seeing termites a lot sooner than we would normally be seeing them. So um, they're, they're getting ready. When it gets warm, the termites kind of come up out of the ground. They mate. And unfortunately, I think we're going to be seeing a lot more of them a lot sooner than we anticipated. Oh, lovely. And what <laughs> makes this spring and summer different from, say, last year? Well, last year it was a lot colder, and so last year we did forecast that there would be a delay in spring po in um, pest populations. But this year, because it has been so warm, and you were just talking about also all the moisture, I mean, we're, we're really going to be seeing an increase in mosquito populations, um, termite populations, and, and ants too. Yeah, I'm thinking about, you know, the poor folks in the Mississippi, Louisiana, dealing with the floodwaters there. What does that mean exactly for the pest population in locations like that? Well, in that area, um, one of the things that's going to happen, I mean, there is some good news. Um, you won't be seeing termites quite as quickly because they're underwater, but they can't hold their breath forever. So ultimately, when it starts to dry out, the structures will be wet. So you will, in fact, have additional termite populations. Mm -hmm. And then of course the other um, part of that is mosquitoes and only takes like a half an inch of water for breeding grounds. So unfortunately, um, I think we're going to be seeing a lot more mosquitoes in that area as well. And Cindy, what about the Midwest? What can people there expect? 
In the Midwest, it's been a little bit drier, um, but we're already um, getting reports of um, heavy tick populations. Um, and of course, ticks, you know, the, there's the problem with many of these pests, you know, ticks uh, with Lyme disease and Rocky Mountain spotted fever. I mean, it is an issue for homeowners and bringing them into their home and with mosquitoes and termites. I mean, you, it's, it's, it's going to be a very buggy spring very soon <laughs> and really quick Cindy because my the thing I hate the most are cockroaches what about those yes well cockroaches um, kind of look for the same things that we do um, they they have been around longer than the dinosaur and I think they will be with us uh, a lot longer than probably we're even around mm -hmm. um, so but uh, they're just it's the typical cockroach population oh. I mean they're they're they don't go away they're hardy aren't they <laughs> Cindy very Mary. hardy very <laughs> hardy I Thank mean that Thank you so much for joining us this morning. We really appreciate it. And sorry for those of you eating breakfast. We just showed a picture of cockroaches in someone's bowl of cereal. That was nasty. All right, we're going to talk more about the flooding across the south. Add tornadoes into the mix, and that is not a good combination. We'll have that for you coming up. If you misplaced your Discover card, you can use Freeze It to prevent new purchases on your account in seconds. And once you find it, you can switch it right on again. You're back. Freeze it from Discover. Get it at discover.com. Building the only truck with the best fuel economy. An award-winning engine. You got that fire. And a 9,200-pound towing capacity. Takes guts. Overcoming any obstacle, that's the glory. Get a great deal on the trucks that give you both during Ram Truck Month. Now get 0% financing for 60 months, plus up to 2,000 truck month bonus cash on 2016 Ram 1500 trucks. You can't predict the market, but at T. Rowe Price, we can help guide your investments through good times and bad. For over 75 years, our clients have relied on us to bring our best thinking to their investments. So in a variety of market conditions, you can feel confident in our experience. Call a T. Rowe Price Retirement Specialist or your advisor to see how we can help make the most of your retirement savings. T. Rowe Price. Invest with confidence. Lisa! It took you so long. Duracell Quantum lasts longer in 99% of devices so you can power imagination all day long. presents how to know she's the one you're the one for me and it comes with a 30-day satisfaction guarantee i won't be needing that now get 10 percent off select major appliances at lowe's when you're on hold your business is on hold that's why comcast business doesn't leave you there when you call a small business expert will answer you in about 30 seconds no annoying hold music just a real person, real fast, whenever you need them. So your business can get back to business. Sounds like my ride's ready. Don't get stuck on hold. Reach an expert fast. Comcast Business. Built for business. Welcome to Azure. The Palm Beach Gardens address where waterfront living has been perfected. 14 acres of refined living with concierge services and unequaled resort amenities. And best of all, the most extraordinary contemporary condominium residences you can imagine. Reservations are now being taken in our final building. Azure. Waterfront living perfected. Destination America wants you to experience the lockdown. We don't really know what's waiting for us. Tell me you heard that. <gasps> for a chance to go on a ghost hunt tour with Paranormal Lockdown stars Nick Groff and Katrina Whiteman. Watch the all-new episodes, then go online to enter for a chance to win. Be sure to catch the season premiere. This house has come alive. Paranormal Lockdown. All-new series, tonight at 10, only on Destination America. Currently in our area, 75 degrees under fair skies.
today. Thunderstorms developing in the afternoon. High 81. Chance of rain 60%. Tonight, thunderstorms early, low 69. Chance of rain, 50%. Monday, thunderstorms developing in the afternoon, high 87. Chance of rain, 40%. Here's our seven day outlook. Coming up at noon on Weather Geeks, choose the battle for weather. That's the motto of the 557th Weather Wing. Dr. Shepard's going to take us behind the scenes to learn how the Air Force builds a battle zone forecast and then uses the weather to their advantage. That's right here at noon on Weather Geeks. And uh, Kel, you were saying last hour how fond we happen to be of the men and women yes. of the Armed Forces. What we a great appreciate job their they service, Always. absolutely. And they've been busy in Louisiana as far as the Very National Guard so. in Louisiana. We're talking about more than 1,000 people rescued from floodwaters, uh, nearly 200 pets, by the way, also. And yeah, we unfortunately have the threat of severe weather on top of some of those areas that were devastated by flooding over this past week. So we've got this computer model. This is the GFS American uh, model showing you that mid level spin. So we follow the surface if you will that area brighter yellow that is your basically your upper level low that's going to continue to move toward the east out of Oklahoma into Arkansas the good news is it's not going to linger very long so we're not expecting a torrential amount of rainfall like we just experienced I mean that was very rare in and of itself however we are going to have the threat for some damaging winds especially later tonight and into the overnight hours for places like Memphis and Little Rock so please make sure you've got a way to get those severe warnings and even tornado warnings not out of the question either here Here's a look at some of those ingredients coming into place. Of course, the moisture that we need, that's already there. Dew points are running high. You've got this upper level disturbance, which is that cold air, that pocket of cold air aloft, and that's meeting up with that warm, moist air rising from the surface. So we've got the instability, and then you've got that low kind of coming in, helping to lift up some of that warm, warm, moist air. Got the low level jet coming in from a different direction from the southwest. So we got that turning of wind with height, directional wind shear. So that's why we can't rule out the possibility of tornadoes. But the main threat, if you live anywhere in this red zone right here from Mississippi back into Oklahoma, main threat is going to be your terrible wind gusts, more than 58 miles per hour, possibly some quarter inch hail. That's uh, also some of the criteria you need for a severe warning. And tornado warnings are going to be possible. A torque kind of a four in southeastern Arkansas. That's a 40% chance of tornadoes. A three for far northern Louisiana and northwest Mississippi. That is a 30% chance of seeing a tornado within 50 miles of your location. The radar is going to look something like this. Of course, we can't pinpoint exactly, but for Little Rock, you're good. First half of Sunday, fine. It's not until the evening hours when we start to hear the thunder and definitely go indoors when thunder roars. You know, Kelly, this whole scenario isn't a random occurrence. I mean, it does happen. It's springtime, and spring is synonymous with severe weather in many parts of the country. That being said, it is critical that you and your family know what to do if a tornado threatens. Jim Cantori introduces us, us to a Oklahoma family that made a plan and are still alive to tell us about it. Sometimes we find faith in unexpected places. It seemed like a split second we were in the dark and then instantly in the light. We were out in the open, the walls just disappeared. And we're instantly in the wind. And so we we're just screaming, Lord Jesus, lift it, lift it. The Creasel family's prayers were answered. And because of a bathtub, they're still here today. As the 2013 EF-5 Moore Monster was bearing down on them, they put on bike helmets, got in a tub, and pulled a mattress over them. I felt like something like giant, something humongous, bigger than life, something not real, was just ripping our house apart. We actually felt like we were being pushed down. Everything else on our slab was being pulled up and away from us. And then after seven minutes of hell, it was over. All the girls um, are okay, and it looks like my wife, we're all here, and there is nothing left around us. We like to kind of say that we lost it all, that we walked away with everything. Good fortune or fate, regardless, the family had a safety plan, which probably saved their lives. 
If you look at the bathtub, you can tell there was uh, quite a bit of debris that actually hit it. If you saw our helmets, you could say that that was definitely an important factor. I mean, our, our heads got hit quite a bit. Anytime we hear May 20th or we see pictures of this tornado, we always call it our tornado. And um, it definitely changed who we are, changed how we look at things. It definitely strengthened our faith and strengthened our family. Story. What yeah. a story. You know, on, on behalf of the AMHQ weekend team behind the scenes and here at the desk, we thank you so much for joining us this week. We got Paul and Maria coming up. But, oh, yeah. But first, happy birthday, Reynolds Wolf. It's this Wednesday, but I won't see you because of our different work schedules. So I just want to wish you a happy birthday. I made a chocolate pudding pie. It's not just pie day tomorrow, but your birthday. I'm not going to be here for my 26th birthday. It's amazing. See you. Someone's hacked all our technology. Technology. Say, have you seen all the amazing technology in Geico's mobile app? Mobile app? Look, electronic ID cards, emergency roadside service. I can even submit a claim. Wow. Yep, Geico's mobile app works like a charm. Geico, expect great savings and a whole lot more. When I first started, I wasn't sure I could do it. Losing 50 pounds felt impossible. But just like everything else in life, it started with a single step. Introducing the all-new Turbo 10. Lose up to 10 pounds in your first month and 5 inches overall. You'll love it. Money back, guaranteed. I took the first step, and I'm so glad I did. It's simple. Just take the first step. Nothing beats the feeling of losing weight every week. With Nutrisystem, I have so much more energy, and I feel great. I lost 5 pounds, and then I lost 10 pounds, and then I lost 15. It's simple. Just take the first step. Taking that first step changed everything. Now I'm finally healthy and in the best shape I've ever been. Order your 28-day plan right now. With Turbo 10, you'll get delicious meals and one week of our all-new Turbo Shakes, free, packed with protein and probiotics to help support digestive health and bust belly bloat. Plus one week of our Nutra Crush Shakes to crush hunger free. Take the first step. I'm Dan Marino, and I lost 22 pounds with Nutrisystem. My energy is back, and I can't stop smiling about it. I'm Melissa Joan Hart, and I lost 40 pounds on Nutrisystem. Bye-bye, belly fat. I saw results right away. There's no counting, no measuring, no meetings. It's easy with Nutrisystem. I took the first step. I'm glad I did. 48 pounds, gone. I lost 50 pounds. I can't even tell you how good that feels. I'm Jeannie Francis, and I lost 40 pounds on Nutrisystem. I'm Marie, and I lost 50 pounds with Nutrisystem. Call or click now, and we'll rush you Turbo 10 today with 14 free shakes, plus free shipping. Lose up to 10 pounds in your first month and 5 inches overall. You'll love it. Money back, guaranteed. Pick up the phone and call Nutrisystem today. Call 888-884-SIZE right now and get the all-new Turbo 10 with 14 shakes free. I asked my dentist if an electric toothbrush was going to clean better than a manual. He said, sure, but don't get just anyone. Get one inspired by dentists with a round brush head. Go pro with Oral-B. Oral-B's rounded brush head cups your teeth to break up plaque and rotates to sweep it away. And Oral-B delivers a clinically proven superior clean versus Sonicare Diamond Clean. My mouth feels super clean. Oral-B. Know you're getting a superior clean. I'm never going back to a manual brush. After 50 years of designing cars for crash survival, Subaru has developed our most revolutionary feature yet. A car that can see trouble and stop itself to avoid it. When the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety tested front crash prevention, nobody beat Subaru models with eyesight. Not Toyota, not Ford, or any other brand. Subaru eyesight. An extra set of eyes every time you drive. What makes me a weather geek? The fact that I love the weather. Especially when it's when it's hit me in the side of the face. I'm gonna ride this one out, guys. Be one of the thousands of weather geeks out there at weloveweather.tv. Currently in our area, 76 degrees under fair skies.
today. Thunderstorms developing in the afternoon. High 81. Chance of rain 60%. Tonight, thunderstorms early, low 69, chance of rain 50%. Monday, thunderstorms developing in the afternoon, high 87, chance of rain 40%. Here's our seven-day outlook. 